Morning guys. We are about to head back over to that 180 acres across the street from me. And we got one more food plot to clear. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get that one behind us today and move on to a drainage project tomorrow. But since I got you here, I just got a little scare. See that guy right there. So I've always been a fan of snakes. I believe this is either a corn snake or a milk snake. Um, but he's definitely not a problem. Good one to have around. We're gonna leave him alone. He's just chilling here in the driveway. Let's see what Chloe thinks of him. What do you think of that, Chloe? You don't even see it, do you? But anyway, he's definitely not hurting anything. We're gonna let him be. Chloe. So one thing fun about walk, uh, working right across the street is we get to drive the toys to work instead of having to drive the old pickup truck. We're also working like a lot of miles, or at least a mile or so off the road, so. It works out a lot better to take this anyway. So this is a pretty good size farm, uh, 180 acres and everything's really spread out. So this is kind of my little staging area where I've been parking everything. But one day this week I had two operators. So we ended up with two machines way up on top of this hill behind me. Um, and then we left them up there, walked down, got in the side by side, went home, come back the next day, whatever. But long story short, I got a machine sitting up there, nobody to help me go get it. And rather than drive this up there and leave it and have to walk up for it or drive a machine back up later, we're just going to go ahead and make the hike and go up there and get the skid steer and bring it down. Well, that's a good sign. Food plot's already working. Nice doe standing up there in the middle of the freshly cleared plot. Alright guys, so we made it back here. We had to go get the skid steer so we could bring this other bucket back here. Because we're going to drop the tilt rotator again. Just to keep wear and tear off of it since we don't really need it tree clearing. Uh, so that's what we're doing and then we'll get back with you in just a minute. So I've been extremely pleased with uh, how easy this thing is to take on and off. I just got one plug. Two quick connects. And then it's hydraulic quick attach in the cab. So that's literally it. That's all I gotta do. Let's pop those loose.
just like that. We're ready to go. It's almost too easy. All right, guys, so we're just about to start this clearing. Might take a little bit of time to get started. Uh, we're going to do kind of the same thing. We're just going to push all the uh, all the brush on this one down to the lower end. Just like we've been doing on the other ones. But it's always a little tricky getting started. started we're just going to push this stuff out of our way as we need until we get a path cleared to actually push stuff down the hill because that's one thing about it if you start start at the top you know and your goal is to get it all to the bottom it ends up making a big mess if you're trying to push into the stuff in front of the you know towards the pile if you're pushing downhill pushing into stuff that's standing you end up with a big tangle mess so what I'm going to do is clear a path to where I can get down there and then kind of start from the bottom best we can. Try not to use the skid steer too much because I threw a, threw a track off of it again yesterday. There's a lot of rock in here and it's just hard to tell. Hard to see them all and it don't take nothing to throw a track in this kind of terrain. Which this is the flattest ground that we've got to work on as far as putting a plot in on this project. But it's also probably more rock than the other ones we've been working on. one thing that is annoying about this thumb is with this tilt rotator bucket they got a longer bottom and my thumb times don't go all the way to the teeth uh, which I've had some plates made uh, with this same attachment style and I have my three foot bucket off my backhoe that I'm just gonna go ahead and put a plate on so that I can use it on this and that should should make it more conventional for when I'm not running the tilt rotator. I could throw that bucket on. It's a three foot bucket. It's a good general bucket for this machine anyway. Um, and then it should make my thumb line up like it should. But anyway, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to keep on trucking at this. I don't want to bore you all to death, so I'm going to stop the video for a little bit. And I'll catch back up with y'all when we got a little more progress to show you. All right, guys, we're back from lunch. I'll show you all the progress that we're making. So it's real rocky up on this, this area of the hill. So here's the road that comes in. We're just going to make a road that comes down right through here. And then we're going to open it up down here once we get below the rock shelf. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, yeah, here's how it's coming along so far. It's going pretty good. We got uh, that area right over there where it's nice and flat. And got a couple of really good oak trees and stuff in here that we're going to leave and clean out around another one right over there um, but we're just taking out the scrubby trees little trees and giving the big one some room and making a nice area for a food plot so we're gonna get back in the machine and get after it
All right, guys, we're just gonna keep on cleaning up right here, and I'll check back with you guys once we are done with this area. All right, guys, we've got this plot finished up. This road coming up through here is a little rough. I would have liked to cleaned it up a little better, but it's so rocky and rough. I'm just kind of tired of it, and I think it's fine for what we're doing, so we're going to leave it alone so we don't beat our equipment to death. But here's a little plot. Nice little area. There's a big hickory right in there, and I got a lane cleared coming out of it this way and one going out over to that side, so that'd be a good place for a stand, and you should be able to shoot either side of this plot. But uh, we're going to start the mile long trek out of here back to the road and get this machine ready to move on to another job tomorrow appreciate y'all watching that's gonna be it for this one well guys i was just uh walking back down in the bottom of the holler this is just a snaky episode i tracked the excavator up to the road where i'm gonna load it I was just walking down through here and nearly stepped on that thing he was a bit more skittish. I wanted out of here. That was a big one. That was either... I didn't get a good look at him. It's either a black rat snake. Or possibly a king snake. But I think it was a black rat snake. But anyway. <laughs> another snake. Same day. Same episode. Maybe we won't step on another one between here and the side by side. <laughs>